Hi, and welcome to the Espresso English Podcast, where you can improve your English in just a few minutes a day. My name is Shana, and I'm the teacher at Espresso English. Make sure to visit the website, EspressoEnglish.net, where you can get online courses and ebooks that will help you learn English even faster. Let's get started with today's lesson. Hi, students. In a previous lesson, we learned 10 words ending in less, which means without. And today we'll learn 10 words ending in full, which means something like full of. Something that's beautiful is full of beauty. And someone who is successful is full of success. They have a lot of success. Note that the suffix is spelled F-U-L with only one L, differently from the word full, which has two L's. After learning these 10 words, download the free lesson guide and try the quiz to practice them. Just click on the link in the video description and enter your email address to get that free download. Number one is cheerful, meaning happy, full of positivity, in a good mood. For example, I'm much more cheerful after I have my morning cup of coffee. Number two, grateful, means full of thanks, gratitude, and appreciation. For example, We're so grateful for all your help with this challenging project. Note that we spell it G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L, not G-R-E-A-T-F-U-L. Number three, faithful. This means staying dedicated to a person, project, or idea. For example, Bob has been a faithful employee of this company for the past 10 years. Number four, fruitful means producing a lot of something. For example, our magazine advertisements have been very fruitful. They've resulted in 5,000 new customers. Number five, skillful and masterful. These mean showing good or excellent ability. For example, good leaders must be skillful in motivating their team. Everyone applauded after his masterful performance on the violin. Masterful is even stronger than skillful because it implies that they're not just good, they're excellent. They're a master of that ability or area. Number six, disgraceful and shameful. These describe behavior that is not socially acceptable. It's not decent. For example, after he calmed down, he apologized for his disgraceful outburst of anger. She used to lie and cheat on her boyfriends, but now she regrets her shameful past. Number seven, mindful means attentive and observant. For example, you should be mindful of how much TV you watch. If not, you could waste a lot of time. To be mindful is to pay attention. Number eight, wistful. This means you feel a kind of sad desire. For example, My kids are all grown up now. Looking at their baby pictures makes me wistful. Another example would be, she often speaks wistfully about her home country, which she fled because of war. She misses it and she has kind of a sad desire for it. Number nine, rightful, describes what is right, fair, and proper. For example, the police found the stolen car and returned it to its rightful owner. Number 10, Thoughtful means characterized by lots of thought and consideration. For example, I enjoyed the thoughtful article about politics that was published yesterday. So wait, what's the difference between mindful and thoughtful? Mindful means paying attention. It's more about observing and noticing. And thoughtful means thinking or considering a lot. What other examples of words ending in full, F-U-L, do you know? We've also got joyful, powerful, peaceful, and many more. Remember to click on the link under this video to download your free PDF and try the quiz with today's wonderful words. I want to see you become successful in learning English, and that's why I make these videos as well as courses you can join. If you liked this lesson, then I especially recommend my Vocabulary Builder courses, as well as my Advanced Vocabulary course if you need something higher level to help you speak English masterfully. Come visit EspressoEnglish.net to check out those courses. I'll see you there. If you want more great English lessons, visit EspressoEnglish.net where you can sign up by email to receive a free ebook with 500 plus real English phrases. 
You'll also find online courses to help you improve your English fast, even if you don't have much time to study. Keep practicing your English, and I hope you have a wonderful day.